Hi, this is Terry Samal from PMML. Today I want to present you the market statistics for multifamily buildings in Quebec for the month of April 2021. We are continuing an exceptional volume uh, on the market right now if we're looking at what happened in uh, 2020 in the first quarter of 2021, which were all historic uh, months uh, for multifamily uh, buildings in Quebec. Let's look at the Montreal market. We've picked up a lot of volume from March uh, to April. We went from $318 million in transactions to $365 million uh, in transactions, which is pretty impressive knowing that those transactions started to, to be negotiated three to six months ago and are now notarizing uh, in, in uh, the Greater Montreal region. Now, Greater Montreal is one thing. Let's look at the island itself. We went from $213 million in transaction to $240 million in transactions. So we're maintaining that market. Quebec City, we lost a bit. We went from $48 million to $33 million. But what I, I could tell you right now is I know that on that market, we're moving a lot at PMML. We have a home base office over there also, and uh, things are moving. There's a lot of transactions and due diligence and financing right now. So stay tuned for that market. Uh, if we're going, looking at uh, Sherbrooke, Sherbrooke picked up from 31 million to 40 million. Great increase in Sherbrooke right now. A lot of great properties for sale. We also have a, an office over there. Our get to know office is doing well also in global transactions notarized in gets no uh, month of uh, March and multifamily. We went from $8 million to $14 million. Gets no is definitely a market for investors to, uh, to keep a, lo uh, a look at. Uh, the volume and velocity of what's going down is important. We know that the Ottawa market, which is very close to gets no, there's only the Ottawa River uh, separating both territories, is a very higher market in value. And we know that the investors now are starting to cross the border going to get to know and see that they definitely have a value add opportunities and land to build new properties and the potential to, to get the large equity uh, upscales over uh, the near future. So it's definitely a market to look at. I want to look at uh, four different transactions. I, I selected my top four uh, for the month of April. The first transaction is one that took place in the plateau. Uh, which is the west side of Montreal, a very appreciated area where normally we have high rents, a European, cli European type clientele. We also have students uh, going to the different universities in Montreal that live in that area. Uh, so historically, it's an area which usually has a larger value. Uh, there was a great asset that was sold, um, an asset of almost uh, 90 units, um, very well positioned. Uh, 1964 construction, concrete. That building was uh, more or less empty for a few years. Great looking asset, um, very well located on close to two main streets and easy access to downtown Montreal, also to the mountain and all of the restaurants, etc. in that area, uh, in that west side. So basically that asset was refurbished. Uh, it was purchased a few years back and then it was refurbished by a joint venture uh, between a management company and a uh, construction renovation company, uh, all that backed by a Montreal-based investor, which has uh, a lot of assets in real estate. So that uh, that was just repositioned and it was just sold to a REIT on the market uh, recently, so uh, this month actually. So the transaction is now completed. Uh, that um, transaction becomes... A historic transaction that was done over $455,000 per unit. That was the price it was sold at. Uh, so it's definitely going to be a comparable that's going to be used in the future for all of the concrete uh, low-scale towers that are going to be sold in Montreal over the next few months. Very interesting transaction. My second favorite was a transaction I was directly implicated in. I was representing both parties, the seller and the owner, on the south shore of the Montreal in a district which is more English speaking uh, historically. This asset, which is on a uh, over 60 doors, uh, we just sold and notarized. 
Um, the asset was only two stories high with plus an underground garage in it, but it was on a piece of land of almost 95,000 square feet. Uh, definitely large potential to increase the rents. Uh, the uh, property owner that had it, uh, had a lot of assets on the south shore of Montreal, started the optimization. But the buyer now, which is a Montreal-based uh, investor, has most of his assets in Montreal, is starting to, to go left and right to pick up assets outside of the area of Montreal and picked up this asset. Um, and it's going to bring it to the next level. So it's a transaction that took place uh, over $150,000 per door. Uh, what's interesting here is the rents could definitely be uh, upgraded with some renovations, but also the expenses could be uh, cut down drastically. We have more than... 9% of the expenses that were towards the energy costs. So there's definitely some optimization that is possible, some value add that can be done uh, on that part. My third transaction, my favorite, uh, for those who know Gaspésie, which is a, a region of Quebec, which is completely to the east, close to the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, well, basically, there was a large portfolio that was sold there. I have a portfolio for sale right now in that area. I'm in the, uh, the due diligence is lifted. I'm in financing. So right now in Quebec, we have a lot of convergence towards the island of Montreal, towards Quebec, get to know Sherbrooke. But we also have the regions which are overperforming. A lot of uh, the buyers are wanting to buy assets outside of the city. Uh, so we're seeing that in Montreal right now. So very, very interesting. Uh, so 268 doors uh, that were sold, uh, 16 different buildings. It, the, uh, the purchaser was a, uh, based in, that, in the city in Matan where the transaction took place. He already had assets. He picked up uh, the total portfolio uh, through an estate that was selling it. So naturally, uh, we know that the buyer and the seller were probably uh, very close to one another. So it's a transaction that took place um, at a very, very good price for the market over there. Congratulations to the buyer. This is a typical asset for the, uh, what you're going to see outside of Montreal and Quebec City. So when you're picking up portfolios, uh, usually in Quebec, you're often going to pick up portfolios of different buildings amalgamated together, uh, uh, forming one portfolio. For example, this one was, uh, we had one building which was over 50 units. We had 10 buildings which were tw between 12 and 49 units and five buildings which were between 6 and 11 units. So typical for the assets uh, class of portfolios being sold in, in the regions of the province of Quebec. We have another transaction here, pretty interesting because it's creating a new comparable in a sub-market which is close to Quebec City. Uh, it's in the city of Lévis, Lévis which is very, very close to Quebec City, just the other the side of the St. Lawrence River. This asset, which was a concrete construction, underground garage, large piece of land, Definitely a beautiful product, very well located, uh, with an uh, uh, in-ground pool outside, also a terrace on the rooftop, uh, probably pre-optimized, but with optimization possibilities also on it. What's interesting with this asset, it's, it also had uh, cell uh, phone uh, antennas on it, so definitely rev extra revenues that the buyer is going to pick up for the next few years, extra revenues which are going to remain very stable, Usually the, um, the mobile antennas that are on this building, you would see um, uh, lease, uh, lease on it for about, uh, for the contract to have the antennas on the building for usually 5, 10, 15, 20 years in some cases. So a nice and stable asset for the next uh, few years. Uh, the purchaser that bought it was um, a private society and also a group of investors that packaged up to buy the asset. Uh, the seller was a um, management uh, slash investment equity company uh, that based in Quebec City. Both of the buyers and the, the sellers have a great reputation, so it's probably a sale that took place, I'm guessing, outside of the, uh, of the, uh, the market. Uh, the building is construction 1972. It's an asset that sold close to 190000 per door, which is going to be a new comparable for uh, the south shore of uh, Quebec City. So... If we're uh, summing up uh, the April market, great velocity. Uh, we know that a lot of financing and refinancing took place. We're filling it through our financing department here. Uh, so we're you know, estimating that in the next few months we should have great volume still. 
great opportunities, assets being uh, traded. Uh, a lot of the owners are selling their, the assets which are less interesting for them and going towards also new assets on the market or picking up portfolios. So a great opportunity right now to purchase in Montreal. If you have a chance, go see our website, pmml.ca. Also, go see our new launched website, landev.ai, for artificial intelligence. So L-A-N-D-E-V.ai, which is our new website for uh, land for sale for development. Uh, so we remain available. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Have a great month, and we'll see you in May.